Okay, this is the final step. I may have mentioned um, yesterday that I had five hours into it, uh, tearing everything down to the point of removing the flywheel. In all reality, I was thinking about it, it was probably about four hours since I was stopping to uh, try to um, video some of the work that I was doing. You'll see here that uh, I did find the spindle nut. The only one who had it was Napa, but it's a regular um, head. It's a regular six-point head on it instead of the original 12-point, um, which shouldn't be a problem because when you once you get the the axle on, um, you'll be you'll be tapping down in that one spot to hold it on the uh, uh, axle. That's what keeps the nut in place. Um, I will say that this thing costs seven dollars for one, and uh, the dealer sells them for like three dollars a piece. Uh, but they have to special order them. Uh, Napa was the only one who had this in stock. I did go ahead and pick up a set of the the ratcheting wrenches. Huge difference. You know, 14 millimeters is the main one you're going to need if you only want to buy one wrench. But Harbor Freight had this nice set for about 20 bucks. Um, also, you'll hear a lot of different things as far as what kind of gear oil to use or what kind of fluid to use when you fill it back up. You definitely want to put new fluid back in. I've heard of a lot of uh, problems with uh, transmission synchronizers or bearings or something going out on them on these. Um, I've got 160,000 miles on my matrix and have never had an issue. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go back with um, this Lucas brand. Uh, 7590 is the weight that you want to use and this is a transmission and differential lube um, they make a lot of different brands uh, Valvoline um, Pennzoil there's a few different brands you can pick up at the AutoZone this one costs $14.99 for each quart so I think it's worth the investment just to save me headaches later on the transmission in case there are issues a couple things I wanted to point out um, it took me about an hour to stab the transmission. Um, you'll see that uh, I've got some pavers from my wife's garden here that I stacked up to give a little extra support on the transfer case side of the transmission because um, that's the part that keeps on wanting to fall down and makes it hard to put uh, the transmission up in place. I've got another couple that I had here originally as I was trying to position my jack. Um, what I found is once I used the, the new little bushing in the flywheel for the pilot tool, it lined right up. So once uh, I was able to get the transmission at the right angle, then uh, uh, it was pretty easy to slide it on, um, which I wasn't expecting, but it's all about the angle. Um, this little setup that I had here to hold up the engine really didn't do anything. The engine never rested on that, but I left it there just in case. Uh, what I did end up using instead that worked better is I put a block of wood, you'll see right there, um, underneath the oil pan and this cross member, and that's what supported the engine the whole time. It actually lets, it, lets the engine rest at a little bit of an angle down so that when you're putting the transmission, it goes in a little bit easier. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, four hours taking it all down. I'm expecting another four or five to put it back together when it's all said and done. So it's a good eight, nine hour job, uh, depending on um, how much uh, of this you've uh, uh, gotten into before. I will say this is the second time I've replaced this clutch. I didn't mention that before. I replaced it two years ago and at that time made the mistake of not replacing the rear main seal because it wasn't leaking. Um, but at that point, I was just ready to be done with it, so I figured leave well enough alone and didn't replace the seal. Seal only cost $15, um, and I definitely recommend replacing it um, so that uh, you're not doing the job two years later. I only got 20,000 miles out of the uh, first clutch, and um, uh, you could tell on the clutch where one side wore out real bad where the oil was, was leaking onto it. That's about it. I'm not going to... Um, video anymore because at this point it should be fairly easy selling putting everything back together since everything is marked um, good luck if you attempt this uh, i will say that after i did the repair the first time uh, i told myself i'd sell a vehicle before i ever this did this big of a job again but uh, the reason i decided to video this is to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you guys uh, like me who 
may not have the option of upgrading the newer vehicles uh, all the time and have to keep up with these older ones. Anyways, um, that's all. Good luck.